There's a new dog controller that claims to match the style and features of products in a higher price class without compromising quality, and I've got it right here to show you. If you want to see what might just be the hottest new dog controller on the market, then join me for the next episode of I Don't Have a Band, right now. Welcome to episode 10 of I Don't Have a Band. I'm really excited about today's episode because today we're talking about DAW controllers, specifically the QCon Pro G2 from Icon Audio. Now, I've been a customer of Icon for over a year now, picking up the original QCon Pro. I've been using it extensively over the last year, and I've even featured it here in a number of my videos. So the fine folks at Icon wanted to know what I thought about their next generation unit, so they sent me one over to have a look. We're gonna plug it into the studio and we're gonna see what she's got. What's going to be fun is we're gonna line it up against the old unit and see how the two compare. And we also wanna see what it's gonna to take to get this thing set up. In the next episode of I Don't Have a Band, we're gonna dive in a little deeper on the G2 itself, so stay tuned for that. But let's get this thing into the studio and see what she's got. The QCon Pro G2 much like its predecessor, is an eight-channel universal control surface with Mackie control and Huey emulation that supports most major DAWs. While I've got both units on the desk, I thought I'd start with a side-by-side -side comparison so those familiar with the first-gen model can see how the G2 stacks up. The first thing you can see right out of the box is the size difference. The first-gen model had an expansion port for an audio interface on the back. This feature was removed on the G2, saving a good four inches. The height was also reduced by about a quarter of an inch, so the unit is less bulky overall. I also can't overlook the color change. The beautiful anodized matte black metal and aluminum case is super slick, and this thing is built like a tank. This was something I admired about the last unit, and the G2 is no different. This case is solid through and through. There is no plastic hiding on the back or bottom. The casing is completely aluminum and metal, and extremely solid. And this thing has a lot of weight behind it. So once you have it in place, it's not going to move. So for all you heavy handed mixers out there, you've met your match. The touch sensitive motorized faders were updated to the higher end Alps faders consistent with the QCon Pro X and platform series. They feel more solid to the touch and the fader knobs themselves are bigger and more defined and are much easier to grab onto. The eight dual function encoder knobs have been streamlined. They are more sturdy, smaller, but tapered for a more comfortable resting position for your fingers. The Jog Shuttle Wheel has also been updated. It is bigger, feels more solid, and seems to offer a fair bit more detail and feedback in its movement. It appears both the encoder knobs and the Jog Shuttle Wheel were also brought over from the higher end QCon Pro X, adding further value. The display section of the G2 is fixed, while on the previous model it was adjustable. However, the display angle feels just right, and the backlit LCD display is significantly brighter than the previous model. It is extremely legible in all lighting conditions. One of the biggest enhancements for the G2 is the DAW mode. I'm going to jump into that next. Setting up the G2 was a breeze. All you have to do is connect the provided power supply and USB cable into an available port on your computer. Once powered up, I did a firmware update. This is good practice with any hardware you buy. The software to do this is easy to find on the ICON website. I ran the firmware update app and simply followed the on-screen steps. Once the unit was updated, I fired up my DAW. I use Logic Pro, but setup for other supported DAWs should be reasonably similar. When you first turn on the G2, you have the option to choose your DAW mode by selecting the option on the LCD screen. On the previous model, there were 10 options. On the new G2, the process has been simplified down to four options. For most DAWs, you simply select the first option, Mackie Control. With the provided template overlays, the G2 will automatically be configured for the following DAWs. Logic Pro has a dedicated mode as it did on the previous model. The third mode is Huey for Pro Tools, and the fourth option is a user-definable mode if your DAW is not supported by default or if you simply like to noodle and customize your workflow. Included in the box are template overlays for all of the supported DAWs. In Logic, to connect the G2, all I had to do was go to the Logic Pro 10 menu, navigate to Preferences, General, and then click the Advanced tab, and made sure MIDI and Control Surfaces were selected. Then, from the same menu, I went to Control Surfaces and then Setup. I clicked New, Install, and then chose Mackie Designs Mackie Control. 
I then selected Icon QCon Pro G2 V1.01 in the input and output port pulldowns and the G2 came to life. That's it. So simple. As you can see, I have complete control of all functions including faders, encoder knobs, transport buttons, jog shuttle wheel, track functions and a whole host of other features. So what do I really think about the G2? I think Icon has done an exceptional job refining what was already a great platform. I mean, for the price point, and you have to consider that this unit retails for about $599. That's a pretty substantial piece of gear for that money. I mean, the thing is built like a tank. It looks great. It's super responsive. Some of the new appointments that they've added to the unit, like the faders and the jog wheel, the encoder knobs, they've cleaned it up a little bit. The unit is smaller, more compact, but this thing is pretty heavy. I mean, my arm's killing me. But, First impression, really excited about this unit and I'm really uh, looking forward to jumping in, doing some mixing. In our next video, I'm going to dive more into the functions of the G2 and see how it performs in an actual session. For more information on the QCon Pro G2, visit iconproaudio.com. As always, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And please like, subscribe and ring that bell if you want to stay up to date. Remember, you don't need a band to rock and roll. There are a lot of great musical projects you could do by yourself right from your own home. Thanks for watching.